today, little ones, we're learning the letter B for bow bop your belf. Hello, my bravey brabies. How is it going today? And welcome back to the Hoi 4 A to Z challenge. Hey, the challenge where I play every single starting nation in Hearts of Iron 4. It's a rude and tune in series that you guys are enjoying. And we have now gone into the mysterious letter of B. B. We've done the A's and... Now we're in Belgium. Belgium! A great place full of... Belgians. I don't know about you guys, but I've never met a so-called Belgian before. Uh, I'm starting to think that these Belgians might not be a real thing. And we're back in the good old Road to 56 today to check out their Belgian focus tree. And, um... God, I, well, there's going to be a lot of Road to 56 in this. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you guys for supporting the series. And if you didn't check out my last video, I don't know how truthful this is, but a lot of you people were saying in the comments it didn't pop up in your subscriptions or whatnot. So if you want to check out last video, it was sponsored, but I'm under no obligation to re-promote it here. Uh, I just think it was a really funny video with your boy Bo Cohen and a few of our friends playing World of Warships. So if you want to check that out after this video, I'll leave a link down below. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, thanks for watching this video and that video and the video before. I'm watching all the videos. Anyway, uh, let's get into it. Oh my god. I bet you never knew that it moves. Uh, unfortunately, Belgium is not here on starting players, so I'm gonna have to formally ask Road to 56 to fix the damn mod. I have no idea if I've ever done Road to 56 Belgium before. I'm assuming it might have changed even if I have done it back in the day, but um, I think we're gonna have a wacky, wacky Belgian time. It's gonna be great. <laughs> do not be silly, as Hoi 4 players do not have friends. <laughs> Welcome to the great Belgian military mission, where... Why have we got a hat? What does this mean? Jaegers? Tank destroyer? So we do actually have a focus tree, albeit a bit of a small one in terms of uh, focus trees we've been looking through. I'm sure there's actually probably a much bigger and better one, but I don't care, you know, because today... We're gonna do Rex Belgium. Uh, now, of course, uh, we probably could have gone down one of these other paths down here too, but I'm not playing historical, and historically, one of our neighbors, I won't say who, did invade us. Oh god, I don't, I don't even know where we should begin here. <laughs> ah, uh... I guess our Belgian fleet won't be existing. Oh, looks like we just found some Swedish artillery guns. Only 20 units of them. We got uh, 20 bofers. <laughs> 20 both of these nuts. <laughs> oh, we got got a few of them, actually. Uh, just a bunch of equipment and a fascist meeting. <laughs> we do also have the Belgian Congo as a puppet, which is uh, our only colony and sort of presence in the international stage. And if you know too much about the Belgian Congo, uh, kind of got out of hand over there. So we're not going to we're not going to lay too many fingers on that one. Who knew the Belgians could be such sneaky, evil little bastards? All right, so we got our little folks ready to pick where we want to go politically, and we are going to go with the Rexes because they have the um, most interesting set of things to do. Um, just like modern day Belgium, uh, constantly at war with each other. Although I guess nowadays they leave it to politics only, and uh, they, they take the good old stance of just never forming a government, which um, has got them really far. Not really. Just slowly waiting for this to hit 50. Slowly waiting. Ugh. Okay, gameplay can now continue. Oh, there you go. We've done it. We are now this man. Famous for once being very shouty. He's now going to take over the world. Maybe. So the first thing we can go about doing is annexing our neighbor, the Netherlands, which hopefully should not be too much of a bother. All right, let's see if we die. <clears throat> it wasn't too difficult, but we did lose a few too many men there, which is a bit annoying. But you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. And we also got to merely just declare war on Luxembourg too before they get guaranteed by anyone. And uh, we're going to have one beefy kingdom. You know what? 
I think I can take British Malaya. I've got a strong feeling that I can. All we're gonna need is to mobilize the entire country into the army. What if I collapse the entire British Empire with this one simple trick? What I like to call a bit of an exploit. So I'm pretty sure most people know you can just get your naval invasion out beforehand on the AI before they put their navy out, but you can also queue up naval invasions beforehand and immediately set them off even if you don't have the tech to do so it's um it makes it very easy to land in places especially when their navy doesn't exist there they go the great one speed british invasion <laughs> it's happening uh I, I do find it is better just to keep it on one speed just um because the ai tends to not put their navy re back out but um you might have to do this a few times reloading but uh yeah it, it does make naval invasions a um a bit of a breeze. All right, now because we've landed in Britain, we've got ourselves a port and we want to wait out because the French are now pushing us. We are just going to join Germany's faction and have him deal with it. There you go, we've capitulated in the homeland and that doesn't matter to us. The Germans will re-liberate us and in the meantime, we don't lose our army because it was invading Britain. Uh, because I was holding a bunch of equipment in division trading, boom, we just got a whole bunch back. Ah, right, there goes the French, we've got our land back and we've almost finished up with the British now. It's not too hard to defeat them, especially when you start stealing their factories, just make sure you're actually going on harsh quotas so you get all their resource stuff too, because you're gonna need it if you don't have your country. Voila! Oh my gosh, <laughs> ain't that a worrying sight, actually? Yeah, uh, yeah, things in Europe kind of looking a bit wacky. A little bit wacky. There you go. After taking this little bit from France and uh, uniting all our land, we are now the empire we are not done yet though we have one big empire but there's still more to conquer we are currently working on rebuilding the actual countries that we have conquered though at the moment because we have a lot of resistance i uh, i only just realized that we still got a uh, recovery from the great depression <laughs> Conquer like half the world still go through the depression though. oh there goes the german invasion of poland um or World War II, <laughs> as we like to call it. Alright, first upon the priority is we got to steal what's left of that British fleet. There you go, took a hot second and a thousand convoys, but they're dead and we've got ourselves a battle fleet. That's right, why make your own fleet when you can just steal someone else's perfectly working fleet? There you go. Perfect. Oh, we also got a whole bunch of British divisions in there. We're just gonna delete all those so we can steal. Oh my god, yeah, we got we got a bit of infantry equipment. <laughs> oh wait a sec, why the hell is Italy? Okay, yeah, I I don't think you need my help there, Italy. I think you got it. I'm saying that this a uh, very historical invasion of Greece here it looks just about as catastrophic as the past one. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Here they come. All right, so the Japanese have attacked us now, but with the uh, British fleet backing us up, they can't really do any naval invasions, and we are pushing over here in Thailand to uh, hopefully cripple them in China at some point. The Belgians require more land. Oh, <laughs> I took Bangkok and they just capitulated. Nice. Uh, now we're going to snipe some more land for the Belgian Empire and slowly whittle this horrible... Oh, you don't have two chins in this. Well, congratulations, well done. Oh, sorry to uh, rain on your parade, Mr. Japan. I know you've almost finally finished Beat China in 43, but uh, my Mountaineers are going to change that one. You know what they say, it ain't a war crime till the Belgians turn up. Oh, sorry, I meant it ain't a party until the Belgians turn up. Said nobody ever. Do not worry, people of China, we are the global peacekeepers. Just don't look at our track history, because we have not been keeping any peace whatsoever. Hey, right, people of China, have you ever heard of a waffle before? I completely forgot you can actually upgrade your actual equipment in Road to 56, and my life just got five times easier. Oh, okay, meanwhile, I looked away from Europe for a sec, and, uh, oh. That's a big Germany. Oh, they're also at war with America and was left at the Allies. Uh, yeah, so America joined the Allies and that is... I'm not too sure they're going to be able to stop this beast. Oh my god, so China's at war with the Axis who are fighting in my land. I don't know how this happened, but I, I, I'm not, I'm not war with like this. Can you not fight in my land? Uh, although I guess technically um, it's your land. I just stole it. Oh. There goes the neighborhood. Uh, just uh, I'm eating Japan and 
Germany is just eating China. Uh, I was kind of going to work with them, but you, you do you, Germany. It's, uh, it's a scary world we live in. Now, um, Great Mongol state really popping up. You ever seen anything this great before? <laughs> I realize that Soviets is still alive for some reason in this very oddly shaped area. And Stalin's still there. But he looks like mashed potato. Uh, just gonna ignore mashed potato Stalin, because he's not real. He, he's just for dreaming. Mashed potato Stalin, please don't hurt me, please. Uh, Japan doesn't really seem to have anything really left to fight us with here. Uh, I'm not too sure how many people. There was 4.5 million people overall. A lot of that to China. Uh, I have lost quite a bit myself, but I don't care. There you go. Peace. Oh, you ever wondered what true peace on Earth looks like? Definitely not this. I also just gave this land back to Potato Man. He needs it. And I have troops stuck in German land in China. Okay, we're going to war with China. I never wanted to do it to you, China, but sometimes the waffle needs it. Well, another one added to the empire. I am. Um, I couldn't be bothered to actually, you know, RP anything there. So it's just the Fiosus Empire, Formosus Empire. Don't look that up. Uh, wait, I, <laughs> how did France steal my land back? <laughs> You scumbag potato. Alright, well, anyway, I think we've done all we need to do at this point. This has been Belgium, Rota 56, Wild Ride, Hoi 4, A to Z. And, uh, yeah, it's been a. They stole, they stole my African land, too. God damn it! Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe button down below. And if you want to carry on watching some videos of the World Warship one, down below, too, if you missed it. If not, I'll see you all in the next one. Mwah!